Good evening and welcome to our 11th annual celebration of service. We look forward to recognizing more than 200 award recipients this evening who have demonstrated an incredible commitment to serving others. Since 2002, the Minnetonka School District's mission, in part, is to ensure all students envision and pursue their highest aspirations while serving the greater good. It is that service to the greater good, that giving of yourself and your time to others, that we celebrate tonight. The Minnetonka School Board is committed to supporting this crucial part of our mission. Without their encouragement, this ceremony and the Tonka Serves initiative would not be possible. I would like to introduce our Minnetonka School Board Chair, Katie Becker, who with the school board helps support impactful programs like these. Thank you, Dr. Peterson. It is such a pleasure to be a part of this event and focus on members of our Minnetonka Public Schools community who are committed to making a difference in the lives of others. There is a basic understanding that when we help others, we get much more in return. This understanding led our district to intentionally provide service opportunities for students through the creation of Tonka Serves. Tonka Serves works to build connections between our K-12 population and nonprofit organizations in our greater community. In 2007, the Minnetonka Public Schools District became a certifying agent for the United States President's Volunteer Service Award Program. This program is designed to thank Americans who, by demonstrating their commitment, inspire others to serve. From our youngest students to adults, this celebration of service is truly inspirational. Scenic Heights fifth grader Sanav Kumar has volunteered in many ways, most notably packing food for Feed My Starving Children and tutoring other students in programming. Anna Rosen, an eighth grader at MME, worked as a junior naturalist for Westwood Hills Nature Center, where she helped with summer camps and events. Senior Josie Franrup, one of our Gold and Varsity Letter awardees, has volunteered at numerous organizations. This past year, she started a service club called Minnetonka Mail, whose members dedicate their time to writing letters to residents in elder care facilities. Sanov, Anna, and Josie are just three of the 206 award recipients we will honor tonight. Together, our honorees reported 27,964 hours of service to our local and global communities. We want to thank you. Let's watch some of the ways our students have served others over the past year. I knew that there would be a lot of kids who wouldn't be able to do activities over the summer due to the pandemic or because their families couldn't afford it. So I thought it would be a great idea to do it over Google Meet. I created a free virtual dance camp. We learned different dance vocabulary and we did ballet, tap, and hip hop. It was so great to see the look on their faces when they were dancing. The summer I went to a charter school in Minneapolis and I just helped with remodeling their school. We put in some new flooring, we updated the classrooms, just helping update it and make it nicer for the kids to go. In Minnetonka, I have really good education and there's a ton of resources, so I felt like it was uh, super impactful to see how the school turned out and um, how much better education the children are going to have now. Teach you all how to use technology better. I work with Gen Connected to help seniors understand technology better. Some seniors don't really understand technology that much, so I want to help them understand so they can communicate with their friends and family. My grandma got her first iPhone a while ago and she had a ton of problems with how to use it. My brother and I ended up helping her a ton and we thought that if we could help others like her who need help with technology and who want to learn, we could better the world and try to help the older generations adapt to the rapid growth of technology. I set up boxes, donation boxes, across three different Minnetonka schools and 400, nearly 400 toys and items, and then I later assembled these together in about 150 uh, birthday present bags for children ages 3 to 12, so large range. I know that there's a lot of really bad things happening in the world, and 
you know, sometimes you look at it and you say, that's super overwhelming. But if you know, and you, if you know that you can make a difference in your own community and affect people around you, and you go ahead and do it, you can have really strong impact on your surrounding community. I would just say that when you see the impact that you can have on other people's lives, it's really amazing to see what you can do. It was really fun because I got to dance, which I love, and I got to help these little kids to um, experience that joy also. It feels really good to actually get out there and help your community. There's nothing else like it. Our award recipient's dedication to serving others is inspiring. Even during these unprecedented times, they have not lost focus on their commitment to others. Before we recognize our students, let me introduce the school leaders who have supported them. Principal Kurt Carpenter from Clear Springs Elementary. Principal Stacy DeCourcy from Excelsior Elementary. Principal Andrew Gilbertson from Groveland Elementary. Principal Cindy Andrus from Minnewash Elementary. Principal Brian McGinley from Deep Haven Elementary. Principal Joe Walker from Scenic Heights Elementary. Principal Pete Dimmitt from Minnetonka Middle School East. Principal Freya Schermacher from Minnetonka Middle School West. And Principal Jeff Erickson from Minnetonka High School. We will begin tonight by recognizing our 17 elementary school recipients. There are 12 Bronze Presidential Volunteer Service Award recipients. For the Bronze Award, students five to 10 years old log at least 26 hours of service. There are four Silver President's Volunteer Service Award recipients. For the Silver Award, students log at least 50 hours of service. We have one Gold President's Volunteer Service Award recipient who logged at least 75 hours of service. We begin with our Bronze recipients. Bradley Brennard. Sydney Brennan, <laughs> Cannon Edward Creech, mm -hmm. Carolyn Ogilvy, <laughs> Kieran Sandy, <laughs> Simon Teese. Eleanor Wickland. Amelie Wong. And we recognize Julia Bonner, Claire Freeberg, Sophia Wynn, Lucy Punch. Our silver recipients are Arush Kakumanel, Sanev Kumar, Michaela Wong. And we recognize another silver recipient, Sebastian Zorn, and our gold recipient, Katie Lee. Katie volunteered 89 hours. She shared her love of cooking by preparing food for neighbors and those who were in need during the pandemic. Congratulations to all of our elementary school president's volunteer service award recipients. It is now time for us to recognize our middle school honorees. There are 15 Bronze President's Volunteer Service Award recipients. For the Bronze Award, students 11 to 15 years old log at least 50 hours of service. There are four Silver President's Volunteer Service Award recipients. For the Silver Award, students log at least 75 hours of service. And we have seven Gold President's Volunteer Service Award recipients who logged at least 100 hours of service. We begin with our bronze recipients. Megan Baker. Cody Braun. Tyler Clare. 
Hunter Comp. Samuel Lewis. Maya Sandy. And Andrew Swenson. And we also recognize Eleanor Adderling, Olivia Lohr, Braden Lasinski, Vivian Wynn, Reese Eulis, Callie Van Dixorn, Natalie Vassar, Ava Cinnamon Zorn. We now recognize our silver recipients, Taylor Nordstrom, <laughs> Isabella Toten. We also recognize Maxwell Kong, Briella Lasinski. Let us acknowledge our gold recipients, Lauren Clancy. Lauren volunteered 146 hours. She enjoyed volunteering through MME student leadership. Families Moving Forward, uh, Gail Woods Farm, Camp Christmas Tree, and Making Blankets for Children at St. Jude's Medical Center. Amelia Durenberger. Amelia volunteered 102 hours. She enjoyed creating first night kits for his house. Uh, Sarah Erickson. Sarah volunteered 100 hours. She participated in MMW Service Club and enjoyed sewing masks for those in need during the pandemic. Anna Rosen. Anna volunteered 137 hours. She loved working as a junior naturalist for Westwood Hills Nature Center, where she helped the, with summer camps and events. Natalia uh, Yurenko. Natalia volunteered 103 hours. Natalia really enjoys packing over 3,400 meals at Feed My Starving Children and giving virtual solo piano concerts to residents at a senior facility. And we recognize these gold recipients, Joshua Lee. Joshua volunteered 79 hours. He enjoyed drawing pictures and making cards for elderly in the community. Annie Tan. Annie volunteered 112 hours. She enjoyed teaching Chinese culture classes. Congratulations to all of our middle school President's Volunteer Service Award recipients. Many of our Minnetonka students have learned to give back to the community by modeling their behaviors of influential adults in their lives. Together, we also recognize the families, groups, and adults who have made collective service a priority this past year. Let's meet some of our family and adult awardees and learn what motivates them to serve. I feel valued. It makes me feel good to know that I've made a difference. My husband and I are witnessing that our children hold the same values, and that makes us feel good too. We're all better off if we help each other. I just think it's the right thing to do. It feels good to help other people. It also puts my skills to good use. I've also experienced many new things and gained a broader perspective on my community and the world around me. It is my pleasure to be part of this important event. Each year I'm amazed by the time and talents our students give to serving others. For tonight's recipients, these last several months have been filled with many uncertainties. Despite the drastic changes in your own lives, you've remained resilient and committed to looking beyond yourselves and focus on the needs of others. Tonight, we honor each of your accomplishments. We recognize 71 Bronze Award recipients in the young adult category. These students have, are between the ages of 16 to 25 and have logged at least 100 hours of service. We begin with Grant Annenson, Ashley Baker, Colette Benoit, Dylan Braun, Kate Briesmeister, Peyton Christensen, Jacob Durenberger, Kate Erickson, Joy Gilbertson, Jacob Herbert, Andrew Hermanson, Isabella Jacobs, Meredith King, Chloe Miller, Luke Patefield, 
Tessa Ramzan. Jonathan Rice. Aspen Shrupp. Layden Street. Scott Streff. Nathan Sun. Anna Swenson. Annika Tamti. Zara Thomas. Annika Albrich. Elizabeth Wang. And Franklin Zhou. Not present tonight are Ella Albrecht, Maya Bear, Zoa Benson, Isabel Bloom, Samuel Bloom, Ella Bowles, Sophia Bowles, Andrew Bussman, Caitlin Carroll, Hari Chidambaram, Ella Christensen, Peyton Crest, Anna Geldert, Kieran Holmes, Paxson Holmes, Bryn Hun, Annalise Johnson, Grace Kong, Francis Kotke, Solve Lee, Catherine Liu, Crystal Lynn, Teddy Manlove, Natalie uh, Melanick, Lindsay Mench, Thomas Robin, Cullen Ryan, Eliana Shimke, Anna Shoemaker, Avery Simpson, Allison Sinekin, Dylan Sinekin, Jackson Sinekin, Maria Struble, Rebecca Thompson, Riley Ulett, Emily Van Dixhorn, Vibin Avlenke, Molly Welch, Lisa Wimp, Daniel Yang, and Min Ying Yo. Congratulations to our bronze award recipients. We have 26 Silver Presidents Volunteer Service Awards. These young adults have logged at least 175 hours of service to receive this award. We begin by recognizing Darby Allen, Amy Foster, Catherine Comp, Elizabeth Ogilvie, Vivian Omar. Vivian Von Holland. Annie Zhao. These were unable to make it this evening. Grace Arndt, Mara Boyke, Elizabeth Cahill, Ava Chen, Anna Cherian, Anthony Chernick, Emily Chernick, Barrett Cummings, Leo Dirks, Elizabeth Kearns, Julia Keyboard, Chi Young Lee, Bruce Lesinski, Max McMahon, Helena Moore, Connor Ryan, Amory Walker, Elizabeth Wagner, and Stephen Wang. Congratulations to our Silver Presidents Volunteer Service Awards. It is my pleasure to acknowledge our 53 Gold Presidents Volunteer Service Award recipients. Tonight, I'd like to share some of the service highlights of our Gold Award recipients with you. Some of our students commit all of their service to one group, but most share their time and talent across many groups. Truly an inspiring group of students. We will begin with Madison Andrews. Madison volunteered 151 hours. She enjoyed sewing costumes and assisting backstage for elementary school plays and volunteering at the Excelsior Library. Ji Yang Wang. Jin volunteered 153 hours. She enjoyed volunteering backstage for Minnetonka Theater Productions and as a summer debate camp counselor. Priscilla Bundy. Priscilla volunteered 639 hours. She volunteered with Bunny Besties where she trained therapy rabbits and at Women of Nations, where she, support, where she supported victims of domestic violence and their children. Connor Clare. Connor volunteered 114 hours. He founded a nonprofit which focused on teaching seniors how to better use their cell phones in order to become more connected with their loved ones. Araya Dev. Araya volunteered 240 hours. She enjoyed volunteering at SEWA, IAM, and The Need Indeed, where she was able to help those in their native community during COVID. Eileen Dosev. Eileen volunteered 110 hours. She founded Service Club Imagine, where she collected and distributed 500 toys and books for children in poverty. She also transcribed over 130 historical documents for the National Archives. Hope Durenberger. Hope volunteered 133 hours. She helped those in need in North Minneapolis after the riots and worked with his house during COVID. Josie Frandrup. Josie volunteered 250 hours. She's also enjoyed being a leader in backpack touring and started her own service club called Minnetonka Mail, which also focuses on writing letters to residents in nursing homes. Sage Gimsey. Sage volunteered 106 hours. She worked with the Hospice of the Midwest to create artwork for hospice patients. Anna Graff. 
Anna volunteered 148 hours. She volunteered at the Enchanted Hollow Stables, where she worked with kids on riding and taking care of horses. Phoebe Hansen. Phoebe volunteered 313 hours. She enjoyed hosting a pet drive for the Humane Society and working as a volunteer phone bank for Minnesota House Rep Patty Oakham. Emily Harstad. Emily volunteered 162 hours. She served at the Westwood Community Church as a Sunday school teacher, made PPE for frontline workers, and wrote cards for children's in hospitals. Matthew Liu. Matthew volunteered 225 hours. He enjoyed working with the students in the special education room and helping with this Sunday school at his church. Emil Leiden. Emil volunteered 251 hours. He enjoyed volunteering at St. Teresa Catholic Church as a faith formation teacher and as an altar server and helping others through MHS service clubs like Backpack Tutoring and Hope House. Daniela Mazo. Daniela volunteered 250 hours. She was proud of her work at her synagogue's youth board and her figure skating association junior leadership board. Riley McGannon. Riley volunteered 260 hours. She cared for dogs, acted as a Minnesota Zoo teen, and engaged in social justice activities at Lutheran Social Services. Madeline McGinty. Madeline volunteered 153 hours. She enjoyed managing the ninth and 10th grade football teams, helped out each practice and game. Addison McGrath. Addison volunteered 314 hours. She volunteered with Unified Special Olympics, served meals with loaves and fishes, painted homes with Habitat for Humanity, and cared for secondhand hounds, foster dogs. Virginia Morrow. Virginia volunteered 344 hours. She gathered most of her volunteer hours working with Dean Phillips for Congress campaign and volunteering at campaign events. Shabana Nasari. Shabana volunteered 105 hours. She raised donations through a local garage sale, then went toward purchasing sewing materials and food supplies for families in need in Cabal, Afghanistan. Rachel Patefield. Rachel volunteered 141 hours. She volunteered at the Resource West, where she was able to sort and pass out school supplies to children who cannot afford to buy their own. Patricia Robin. Patty volunteered 257 hours. She enjoyed volunteering with backpack tutoring in UNICEF. She volunteered most of her time at St. Therese Catholic Church, serving right. regularly during masses and events throughout the year. Kelly Shaw. Kelly volunteered 253 hours. She served as a junior counselor at Camp Christmas Tree. Saloni Somea. Saloni volunteered 102 hours. She enjoyed making prayer squares and mass during quarantine to help seniors at Folkestone. Sophia Stout. Sophia volunteered 252 hours. She enjoyed volunteering on the Tonka Serve Steering Committee, as well as serving as gymnastics and soccer team manager. Lauren Streff. Lauren volunteered 270 hours. She walked dogs for people with disabilities, handicapped people, and watched them overnight when they were hospitalized. Ella Wander. Ella volunteered 106 hours. She enjoyed volunteering with sharing and caring hands, Special Olympics, and the Crisis Nursery. Grace Wander. Grace volunteered 104 hours. She enjoyed volunteering through her National Charity League group, which served places like sharing and caring hands, Special Olympics, and the Ronald McDonald House. Faith Watts. Faith volunteered 688 hours. She loved volunteering at Camp Christmas Tree, where she acted as a camp counselor, working with the horse program. These were students who were unable to make it this evening. Amalia Alquist. Amalia volunteered 113 hours. She helped plan a pancake breakfast, benefiting of veterans, and leading a Bahamas Hurricane Dorian charity benefit. Catherine Alquist. Catherine volunteered 133 hours. She volunteered at the 4th of July honoring veterans and created Bahamas Hurricane Dorian Charity Drive. Samira Ahmed. Samira volunteered 196 hours. She volunteered at, at many Minnetonka Elementary schools, enjoyed tutoring students at local mosques in Islamic studies and math and English. Spencer Ahmed. Spencer volunteered 346 hours. He worked on the tech crew at the MHS Art Center on many productions. Dominic Bradburn. Dominic volunteered 315 hours. He enjoyed volunteering with the Minnesota Opera and Program Project Opera, which allows youth to experience and participate in opera. Adeline Cardenas. Adeline volunteered 122 hours. She made and sold homemade crayons to raise money for refugees and taught a free virtual dance class. Genevieve Vesh. Genevieve volunteered 504 hours. She dedicated most of her time uh, to working as the stage manager and assistant manager for many MHS productions. Ethan Freebeiser. 
Ethan volunteered 165 hours. He served in the one-year-old every day pre-COVID and during the 9.30 a.m. service at Westwood Community Church and uh, enjoyed serving at Camp Shimanawa. Garrett Gillespie. Garrett volunteered 258 hours. He volunteered for many organizations, especially enjoyed his work at the Experimental Aircraft Association and the American Indian Education Committee. Daria Getsevich. Daria volunteered 255 hours. She enjoyed, she helped uh, young gymnastics, being involved with Jewish communities and preparing meals at a local adult daycare. Jenna Klein. Jenna volunteered 106 hours. She served as a Minnetonka student government representative, served in many clubs, and volunteered at her church. Sophia Labadee. Sophia volunteered 293 hours. She enjoyed volunteering in many organizations, but most importantly, and really enjoyed volunteering at Camp Christmas Tree as a junior counselor. Nathan Lee. Nathan volunteered 151 hours. He spent much of his time uh, in uh, service creating and maintaining a website, dealing with free COVID information. Sophia Liu. Sophia volunteered 107 hours. She volunteered at Ming uh, Chinese School in Chinese History and Camp Culture, where she worked with camp students to improve their language abilities. Lena Pak. Lena volunteered 271 hours. She enjoyed participating in arts-based volunteer work, which included working with the National Arts Society and Minnetonka Theater. Ella Paulson. Ella volunteered 101 hours. Ella's favorite service experiences this year were when she led a small group at the Kindness Retreat in Minnetonka Elementary Schools. Grace Penhowell. Grace volunteered 101 hours. She enjoyed tutoring in elementary school through MHS Backpack Tutoring. Owen Remar. Owen volunteered 110 hours. He participated in student leadership, helped with youth ministry at his church, and served as a vacation Bible school leader. Kate Schulenberg. Kate volunteered 100 hours. Kate enjoyed serving as a backpack tutor and helping in Unified Club at MHS. Julia Cernick. Julia volunteered 114 hours. She enjoyed volunteering as part of Minnetonka Theater costume crew. Anna Stewart. Anna volunteered 109 hours. She focused her volunteering on working as a crew member for, M for many MHS theater productions. Catherine Tran. Kat volunteered 170 hours. She helped with the costume crew in the theater department and served as a nursery volunteer at West Westwood Church. April Wang. April volunteered 122 hours. She enjoyed Hawthorne Orchard, planning, speaking, and other community events, and worked with the Chinese American Youth Association. Jerry Zhang. Jerry volunteered 161 hours. He enjoyed acting as a tutor for a weekend Chinese school and volunteered with the Hawthorne Orchard Youth Group. Congratulations to all of our Gold Presidents Volunteer Service Award recipients. Minnetonka High School also recognizes our students' strong commitment to others by offering students the ability to, serve, to earn a varsity letter in community service. Students must volunteer at least 150 hours with 75 hours dedicated to one agency or social cause. They also must complete a reflection project. The requirement for varsity letter in community service are listed on the Tonka Serves website at tonkaserves.org. We are recognizing the following students who earned their varsity letter in community service during the last year. Priscilla Bundy. Peyton Christensen. Jacob Durenberger. Amy Foster. Josie Frandrup. Emil Leiden. Chloe Miller. Luke Patefield. Sophia Stout. Anna Swenson. Excellent work. Charlie Tim. Vivian Von Holland. Faith Watts. And Franklin Zoe. The following were unable to make it this evening. Emily Harstad, Clayton Dunn, Jackson Bach, Mara Boyko, Eva Chen, Peyton Crest, Barrett Cummings, Sophia Frank, Leah Fritz, Adrian Gonzalez, Sydney Hines, Ryan Herbert, Lauren Howe, Bryn Hoon, Francis Kotke, Sophia Lavity, Crystal Lynn, John Manning, Joseph Matson, Riley McGannon, Eva Michaels, Olivia Newman, Elizabeth Ogilvy, Max Petrick, Mia Sato, Bryce Sutphin, Rebecca Thomason, Catherine Tran, Elizabeth Wagner, Molly Welch, Elizabeth Westland, Jane Williams, 
Yu Gun Wan. Congratulations to all of our varsity letter winners. That concludes our presentation of awards tonight. I would like to thank all of the teachers and adults in our community who model for students the importance of service and giving back. I hope the experiences of the last year have inspired you toward a life of service to your family, your community, and our world. Our hope is that one day, every Minnetonka student will use their great education to serve others throughout their lives. Thank you for such an inspiring evening. Good night.